Cobalt. So we're going to focus on Cobalt here. That is right here on our table. Focus this too. Now, 27. Now, let's start out again. Remember, we have 1S. That's our first one, okay? So we're going to write out 1S. It has one orbital. Next. Now, is everybody with me where we got 1S? Yeah. Now you go down to 2S. Okay, you're right here. You start going again. So 2S, and then you keep going. You get to 2P. Remember that 2P can hold three of them because it's a P sublevel. Now, you're going to get to the end here. You're going to go back to the beginning again, which is again S, so 3S. You keep going. What? What do you mean under? Oh, yeah, of course. So now you're at 3P. And yeah, you're going to have to remember that there's a lot of space here. I'm going to run out of room already, probably. Nope. Yeah. Now, this is where you got to pay attention because you're at you're at 3P and you're going to go back to 4S again. So you go finally again 4S. Now, this is the part you keep you think about now because now there's the D block in front of you. What was the one thing we said? N minus 1. So that means instead of being 4D, it's 3D. Okay, the last thing. The last part of all this. Notice that cobalt is in 3D. So we're done writing stuff out, correct? Yes. Now... Here's what you're going to do. It's 27. you got to fill in 27 arrows. So start filling them in. Wait, Mr. Red, yes. can there be empty dashes at the end? Yes, there will be. Okay, good. So watch. So we go 1S, 2S. So each one that you fill in is always going to have two and this is the end. Mm -hmm. Now, now, hey, here's the thing. Do I even need to count up to 3D? No, you can just fill these all in. Why? Because you know it's going to be filled in up to 3D. So just fill them in. Now you stop, okay? Just this, Eventually you won't even need to stop here. You'll just be able to keep going. If you're at 3D, here's a simple way to actually figure out, instead of counting how many arrows you just filled in, just count over. Say there's one, two... Skipped one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So cobalt has seven electrons in the 3D sublevel. So now all you do is this. You fill in seven of them. Now this is what you got to be very careful of. You go one, two, three, four, Oh, that's kind of... Five. Then you've got two more to put in. Now, remember our rules. You put two more in facing down. Now you're at seven. Seven. 